Red Cat booth. Um, with Brian Hinker and Jeff Thompson, CEO. Brian runs business development for Army, is that correct? No, I'm, I'm VP of business development for Red Cat. Okay, VP for, for everything. For the whole thing. Did you used to do the Army, or is that your prior? Okay. No, Edge Autonomy, I was. Okay, prior. so VP of business development, Jeff Thompson, CEO of Red Cat. This is the Black Widow, folks. This is what was commonly referred to as Teal 3, but they kind of took the wraps off of it. Um, I have a lot of admiration for this product because, one, they built something that proved me entirely wrong. Like, I've been a shit talker on the internet, and uh, this thing's the real deal. It has hot swappable arms, it has GPS denied autonomy. I think it works in the dark, too. It's all yes. about the dark. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. You Dominic go in stealth night. mode, turn, turn everything off. No radios. Yep, no radios, no lights, no visual signature. This is the SRR submission. This is the SRR submission. 100% modular, and that's the, that's the key is we wanted to make sure that you could replace, replace the arms. This, the payload clicks in and out, so you can replace the payload, super easy. All field repairable. Um, there's literally, swap the battery, same battery that goes in the uh, controller. controller, the web controller. Oh man, the aircraft. brilliant. That's such brilliant design language. Yeah, so. And if you yeah, finish this battery, it usually has enough for another two hours on the controller, so yeah, it might exactly. not be able to fly a bird anymore, yeah. but it can control your controller for two yeah. hours. This is so useful. I love the industrial design. It's like, you can tell it's related to its predecessor, but upgraded in every single way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it has that teal two feel to it still. But uh, so taking orders now, shipping beginning of next year. Taking orders in January. Okay, okay. Shipping end of Q2, beginning of Q3, and the reason why is if we win SOR, we're gonna have to make we're gonna have to deliver to the first. army. They get theirs first. They're okay. first in line. Okay, that makes sense. That's for a lot of units, exactly. and all made in Salt Lake City, Utah. Another reason that I yep, I'm such a fan. I'm telling you, man, this is like, this is how we build an industrial base for drones, right? We have companies that are willing to do the hard work, do the super rich systems integration of like FLIR cameras and gimbals, but then create their own family of systems and ecosystem. I, I, I wish I could show you the controller of the web. It's like an ultra low cost, uh, runs on a S23 ATAC native, and I think other OEMs are going to be using it because it solves the pain point so well. Brian, man, I really appreciate this. Jeff, thank you again, man. Seriously, best of luck. Um, we're all rooting for you. Appreciate it.